In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to use split screen on a Chromebook so that you can easily have two different apps showing on your screen at the same time. And there are actually a few different ways to use split screen on a Chromebook. So the most common way is if you've got an app open here, so Timmy's got Google Chrome, but you could have any other app, and you just need to click and drag this bottom bar down. So drag it down like that so that it's no longer full screen. And now you just need to drag it to one of the sides of the screen. So if you want the this Google Chrome window to be on the left hand side of the screen, you just need to drag it all the way over here until your mouse actually reaches the edge of the screen. And then you can let go. And now the Google Chrome window or whatever app you are dragging will be taking up the entire left hand side of the screen. And now you just need to go and open up your other app. So if you wanted to have the files app on the other side or anything else, you would just open up that app now. And you'll see it's not split to the side, it's just taking up as much space as it wants to. But if you now click and drag this app over to the left until your mouse cursor reaches the left, you can let go now. And now you have your split screen. So now you have this Google Chrome window on the left and this Files app window on the right. And now if you're happy with them, with each app taking up half the screen, you can use both apps like this. So you could scroll down here and look at the things on this website. And then maybe you could go and click around in the Files app and see different files or whatever you wanted to do. But if you maybe want more space in Google Chrome and less space in the Files app or something like that, so you don't want both the apps to have an equal amount of space, you can actually adjust where they meet in the middle very easily. So to do that, you'll just need to hover your mouse over this line here between the two of them. And you just need to leave your mouse hovered there for a second. And as you can see, these two arrows will now appear slightly above or below the mouse. So now, if you just move your mouse down onto the arrows, you can now click and drag these arrows to adjust the windows. So if you click and drag to the left, that will mean that this window has less space and this one has more space. Or if you hover back over the line and click on those arrows and drag to the right, you can have more space for Google Chrome and less space for the Files app or whichever apps you're using. If you don't wait for the arrows to appear and you just really quickly come and click and drag like this without clicking on the arrows, that will not move them both. So as you can see, Timmy's now made the Files app a lot bigger but this Google Chrome window is just being covered up with it a bit. It hasn't changed size. So if you're happy for the windows to overlap each other a bit, you could do that if you want. But if you want to move them both at the same time and have true split screen, you'll need to hover over the line and then wait for the arrows to appear. And so that's all there is to that. And now you can just use both the apps in split screen. But then when you no longer want them to be in split screen, you can just click on the rectangle here, this button here, and Google Chrome will go back to taking up the entire screen. And if you come back to the Files app down here and click on the rectangle on the Files app, that will do the same. So now neither of the apps are in the split screen and they're both taking up the entire screen. So that's the most common way to use split screen on a Chromebook, but the way to me prefers is a bit different. Timmy prefers to open up both the apps in advance. So you'll see Timmy has Google Chrome and Timmy also has the Files app and they're both open right now. And then once you've got both the apps open on your keyboard, there's this little key here that's a rectangle with two lines next to it. And it should be across the top of any keyboard on any Chromebook. So you'll just need to press that. And now, you'll see this screen where you can see both your windows at once. And you can't use both the windows like this, so you can't really use this as a split screen, but now it's very easy to put both these windows into a split screen. So now you just 
click and hold on the first window. So you've got this here. And then drag it over to the right or the left. And now it will sort of do this and be here. So now you can let go of it. And now this window is taking up half the screen. And now you can just click on your other window. And now you very easily have your two apps side by side on the screen. And it's just like before. So you can hover over the middle line here and click on these arrows and then change the size of it. Or if you don't want to have split screen anymore, you can just click on the rectangle and it will go back to full screen. So it's just the same as if you had used the other method, but to me finds it's just a bit of an easier way to get split screens. And another way to use split screen on a Chromebook is to go up and hold down on this little button here, the middle button here. So click and hold on that. And now you, you'll have these two arrows appear either side of it. So now if you drag to the right and let go, that will snap this window to the right half of the screen. Or if you drag to the left, it would do the same thing. And then you just need to do that with your other window. So you could open another app if you want to, or Timmy's just going to use the files app right here. And then you just click and hold drag to the left, and now you have split screen just like that. So if the other two methods with a lot of dragging were being a bit difficult for you, this can certainly be a good way as well. And it's just the same as the other two. So now if you want to adjust the windows, you can just hover over the line here, and then click and drag on the arrows to adjust the size, and then when you want to make it no longer split screen and have the windows take up the entire screen again, you just come and click on this middle button here and it goes back to normal. So that's all there is to using split screen on a Chromebook when you're using it as a regular computer. But if your Chromebook can turn into a tablet, you can also use split screen in tablet mode. So when you're in tablet mode, you'll have to have both the apps open in advance. So as you can see, Timmy's got Timmy's Chrome window right here. And Timmy will just open up the Files app, which is the other app Timmy wants to use in split screen. And now, once you've done that, you know how you swipe up like that to get out of an app in tablet mode? Well, you'll need to swipe up and just hold like that, and then let go, and then you'll get to this screen here. And now with this screen, all you need to do is hold down on one of the apps you want to use in split screen, and then drag across here and let go here. And now you've got one of the apps taking up half the screen here. And now if you tap on the other app here, you'll have both your apps in split screen. And you can use both of them just like you would with split screen in computer mode. And you can also adjust how much of the screen each app takes up, just like on computer mode. So if you just hold your finger down in this bar here, you can slide it to the left or to the right, but it gets a bit more finicky with tablet mode. With tablet mode, you can either have half and half like this, or you can have one third and two thirds, but some apps won't even let you do that. So as you can see now, Timmy has Google Chrome and the Files app both open. And if Timmy tries to slide it like that and let's go, it'll just bounce back to half and half because neither of these apps will let you make them smaller. But if we go out of that and we find an app that will, perhaps maybe the Google Play Store, and we open up that, we will have to go back into split screen now. So Tamil will just pull up like that and snap Google Chrome here and put the Play Store here. Now the Play Store should let us make it smaller. So if we slide back here, we can let go there. And now we have one third and two thirds. So this will only be possible for certain apps, but for certain apps, you can do that. And then once you've finished using split screen and you no longer want to have split screen anymore, you just need to slide this bar all the way to the edge. So if you want to have just the Play Store on full screen, you would just slide this bar all the way here. And now Chrome is gone. It's still open in the background, but you're only seeing the Play Store now. 
Or if you wanted to have just Google Chrome, you would slide the bar the other way, and then you would have just Google Chrome. But obviously, you've still got both of them there. It hasn't closed any of them, but it did take it out of split screen. And that's all there is to using split screen on a Chromebook, whether you're using your Chromebook in computer mode or tablet mode. So hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below, and Tamil see you in the next video.